Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Football um, 2 box random team 22 on December 22nd. So the deuces are wild as, uh, as Vince Scully would used to say. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double that up. Like Sir Mix a lot, all 32 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four, I wish it was a two and a two. That would have been perfect. Four and a five, nine times for each. I guess there's two right there. Two and a two makes four. Four and a five, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Ryan down to Mike. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. Lions down to Chargers after nine. All right, so Ryan with the Lions, David with the Browns, Ryan with the Bills, Pascal with the Texans, Grant with the uh, Packers, Mike with the Chiefs, Daniel Graham, you got the Niners and the Falcons, Grant with the Seahawks, Mike with the Saints, Grant with the Colts, Josh with the Steelers, Sean with the Cardinals, uh, Teicher with the Bears, Matthew M with the Giants, David Trott with the uh, Broncos and the Panthers, Ryan with the Bucks, Mike with the Jags, Matthew with the Bengals, Grant with the Jets, Ravens and Titans, Pascal with the Eagles, nice, Raphael with the Washington football team, Ryan with the Dolphins, Sean Maddock with the Rams, Raphael with the Cowboys, Tyshire got my Raiders, Josh with the Patriots, David with the Vikings, and Mike with the Los Angeles Chargers, that's a nice draw as well. So let's put all this on one screen, let's sort by column B, we're going to pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time, when we come back we'll see if there's any trades. And then the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. No, not even a whisper of a trade. There you go. It's all good. Here on the 22nd, two box, random team 22, where one spot gets you two teams. So thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. And thanks for spending a bit of your holiday week with us. Remember uh, when we did this last week, I marked all of those RT so we know that they're from the same case. Another two-box break in the store. I think we only have two more two-box breaks left from that particular case. I honestly don't remember if, there, if we've seen any case hits or not, but, but hey, we, we record all the videos, so if you want to dig into it, maybe you can find out. All right, I think I got all the supplies I need. Let's roll. How did my, uh, how did my football picks do over the weekend? I had Houston at Indy, minus seven. I think I got that. I think I got Atlanta plus six, even though Tampa Bay came back. I did not get New England, although they looked pretty good. New England plus one and a half. I did not get Minnesota. I had Minnesota minus three. I did not get Jacksonville plus 13. That was a little silly, but I just thought that was just a whole, way too many points. <laughs> Um, I had Dallas plus three. They actually won. I had the Jets won their first game. I had Jets plus 17 and a half at Los Angeles. I just thought it'd be one of those games. Sometimes, sometimes the Rams will just, will just lay an egg like that. And then I had New Orleans plus three, which did not, which did not work out. I had um, I had the Steelers losing last night too. I didn't think I didn't think they'd look that rough, but but yeah, Bengals with a nice win. All right. Good luck, everybody. All card ship. And all rookies will be sleeved, and most rookies will be top loaded. There's Antonio Gates to 49. There's Claypool and Lavisca Chenault Jr. What's what's wrong with the Steelers, ladies and gentlemen? I think they that now they've dropped a few in a row. 
There's Jeremy Chin. Rookie silver for David and the Panthers. Now the signs were there. Their, their offensive yards per play, which is kind of a big metric that Vegas uses as well, their offensive yards per play were, uh, were pretty low throughout their, throughout their impressive 11-0 start. But maybe that's catching up with them along with some other issues. Some, some injuries, I think, haven't helped either. There's Melvin Ingram to 99. So, I think it's all kind of caught. Jeremy Harder thinks, what, Big Ben's just done? No, Kyle, not not much of an NBA player. But I'm sure after uh, I'm sure after NFL is over, I will be. No, I'm not very good at the M M NBA. There's Chase Young. He's having a great season. Red Wave autograph, the rare Chase Young auto. That'll be for Raphael and the Washington football team. Jeremy Hart saying Big Ben's just done. Is that a 140? I mean, I could see his arm being a little done, but there was just some bad decision making made yesterday too. It wasn't just arm strength. I just decision making was not as sharp as it usually is. Because you know, like Drew Brees isn't throwing bombs anymore, right? But there's Jalen Johnson, but it, he's still making some solid decisions. In his game. There's Paris Campbell, Silver, Cleland Farrell to 199 for my Raiders. CD Lamb, Anthony Gordon. I feel like the Steelers are going to be a really frustrating team in the playoffs. Oh, you think he. Really? That's interesting. Jeremy Harder saying not so much his arm, but he's banged up and and he you think he's mentally checked out. There's Ben DiNucci, Green Scope. You think he's mentally checked out for the regular season and then he's just gearing up for the postseason? You think that's what it is? Like they know they've got a playoff spot and they're just kind of cruising maybe? There's Preston Williams to one to or do you think he's checked out for the playoffs, I can't imagine that. Preston Williams for the Dolphins, that'll be for Ryan. Ben DiNucci, he looks tired, says Vanilla Gorilla. Yeah, maybe, and they did have, didn't they get kind of screwed out of a bye week too? Because their schedule got flipped around a little bit. There's Jordan Brooks to 149. Oh, and a nice Justin Herbert. I guess if you're... See, the Steelers, maybe you you take week 17 off, right? Rest all the starters. There's Justin Herbert. Mike with the Chargers. There you go. And there's a Tua. Nice Tua for Miami, Ryan Carlson. Yeah, there is that pattern. When there's a Herbert, there's a Tua. There's Marlon Humphrey to 199, Blue Wave. Oh, your cousin's hubby is a sports reporter, says Jeremy. For the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, you hear a lot of things. Well, maybe you'll be hearing from me before... Uh, Maybe you should check in once a week, Jeremy. Tell us what's going on for maybe to help people who invest in uh, in sports teams, perhaps. There's Fred Warner to 249, Gabriel Davis and Josh Ucci. Asking for a friend. I could see him being checked out for the regular season. Maybe that's good. Maybe the public will think that the Steelers are done. But then they're really just gearing up for the playoffs. And then you can get some good value in Pittsburgh playoff investments. Our Raiders can go after Juju. Interesting. Well, listen. Um... 
if Juju Smith-Schuster can play defensive back, if he wants to change positions, I think the Raiders would definitely need him. Raiders offense is not the problem at all. AB saying, at the start, I didn't like Prism, but now, now I love it. Yeah, Prism every year is is like pretty much the card you want to try to get for for like rookie investing. Josh saying, Liverpool is a good bet this year, yeah, except for that Villa game. Ah, AB supports Villa. Yeah, would love to see would love to see Liverpool knock out another title. Maybe a double this year would be pretty cool. Champions League too. Uh, Liverpool's been really banged up, which is kind of scary to think if they weren't banged up, how good they would be. I think it'll be interesting to see what they do after the festive fixtures and see what happens in uh, the January transfer window. Use a little, maybe a little some defensive reinforcements. Ooh, wild card points randomized to one person in the break. There's Kalen Balaj hyper to 175. And there's purple power, James Morgan. Autograph for the Jets. Grant with the Jets. They've got a win now, folks. <laughs> yeah, I think they are. Yeah. Wildcard points is literally um is literally wildcard points. It doesn't say anything else on the back, just the just the code on the back, but um basically when you redeem it, like when you like see what the points are, it could be anywhere from 250 points to thousands of points. There's Jared Pinkney to 199. Ooh, are the uh, Steelers are playing the Colts this week. Colts are still... Do they still need to secure the division? It's Fletcher Cox for the Eagles. Jalen Hurts going to be a starter for another week. Looks like probably the, maybe the remainder of the season. Uh, Mark Ingram the second to 125. Logan Wilson, Jeremy Chin rookie cards. There's Juju Smith Schuster. We're just talking about him. Red Wave to 149. Jason Hundley, Antonio Gibson. There's that Lights Camara action. Blue Wave to 199. And we'll sleeve that, that stack of rookie cards that's growing beneath my camera. There's James Morgan. There's Jerry Judy. Chad Johnson in orange. I like when the parallel matches the team colors. Deion Jones, silver for the Falcons. Keyshawn Vaughn, purple power, 46 out of 49. Gandy Golden and a nice Jalen Hurts for the Fly Eagles Fly. That's going to be for, pa uh, for Pascal. There you go. Not numbered, not a parallel, but, but still pretty nice. Like Keyshawn Vaughn, purple power. We'll set you aside. We got Jalen Rigg or another Eagle to 99. Cracked ice for Pascal. And there's Brandon Ayuk and Jake Fromm. I'm going to sl uh, sleeve all of those 
once we're done with the video, but let's give away those points. So everyone has a shot at the wild card points. A lot of value in those points, especially if you get, you know, into the thousands, especially. All right, so let's flip back to random.org. There's some new dice right there. And let's uh, sort, uh, no, let's not sort, but let's grab everyone's names from Sean down to Raphael, get them into this list here. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. One out of four, five times, name on top gets it after five. Good luck, one, two, three, four, and once more, fifth and final time after five. Name on top is going to be Mike. There you go. Last spot mojo strikes again 60% of the time. It works 100% of the time. So there you go. Congrats to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.